So hello guys, welcome back to channel Get to Byte. Today in this video, we are going to interface RTC3231 module to our Arduino Mega via the embedded C code totally from scratch and the I2C device driver which we have built in the earlier videos. So it's going to be very interesting on understanding how to read data from the data sheet for a module and use that data for uh, interfacing that module to a microcontroller. Now this all is going to be done via state machines and the event driven programming for you guys to make you understand in a better way and in a very easy way on how to do firmware development. So now without wasting time, let's proceed. And those who are new to this channel, who are seeing the video of this channel for the first time, it's subscribe to this channel for and press the bell notification to get notified for the new videos which will be uploaded on sensors and module interfacing for firmware development. So now let's proceed to our main topic. So guys, first we will see the hardware connection on how to connect the RTC3231 to the Arduino Mega via the I2C connection and then we will proceed to our first understanding on how RTC3231 works, understanding its data sheet, state machines and even driving programming for it and then we will proceed to our actual emergency code using those things. So so the connections for this uh, interfacing RTC3231 module to the Arduino is very much simple. You just have to connect the SCN and SDA lines of the Arduino Mega to the SCN and SDA of the this uh, RTC3231. As you can see, black wire is the SDA and this goes to the SDA of the RTC3231 black wire. And the SCL, which is the brown wire, goes to the brown wire in the SC this this one in the RTC3231 and then these VCC and ground is the way uh, from the, by which you are powering the RTC3231 so now let's just connect the USB cable and as you can see both get powered Arduino Mega also and RTC3231 okay, so guys starting with first of all DS3231 data sheet first of all we will just understand its key benefits and the features then we will understand how does it work and how exactly RS2331 RS is used via I2C protocol. So first going into its features, it's a very highly accurate RTC module which can clock, uh, which can count up to seconds, minutes, hours, date of the month, day, year and all such proper, uh, proper like a time watch. Okay. And up to the two, 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 uh, 2100 century. And it's also, it has inbuilt temperature sensor with a plus minus 3% degree accuracy. So like if you, in the previous videos, I have interfaced DST11 sensor. If in a some application you need the RTC and the DST11 sensor, you can directly use the R3231. It has inbuilt temperature sensor also. Also, as you can see, it has also two time of the day alarms. It means that you can also program the alarm for the uh, put in a in a day for the two times and when the alarm gets uh, the ticked then a particular output will be generated by one of the pins of the 3231 now there is a programmable square wave output signal it means that when in the uh, like if you have seen in the rs3 in the rs3231 okay we have uh, two pin out with the name of this 32 kilohertz and the SWA okay so what exactly are these via the 32 kilo K we can have a one proper square wave with the frequency of 32 kilohertz and on the SQ, SQW pin we have the output when the alarm matches with the uh, time of the day okay so that's the basic features which the R, 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 RTC3231 has and now let's proceeding to its functioning. Now, so heart of these real-time clock modules is the DS3231 ICs modules. As you can see that this RTC module has this, this IC is the DS3231 and it has the 14, uh, 14 input output pins 
and out of these 14 pins, 8 pins are not connected and 2 pins SCL and SDA are for the I2C communication to our host microcontroller and the 2 pins INT slash SQW and 32 kilohertz are the output generated signal square waves which generate these square signals as per the configuration which we will discuss later and these two reset and the VBET are the two pins for powering our DS3231 modules uh, ICs which ultimately power the RTC module. Now DS3231 IC as we all know follows the I2C communication protocol and now the bus flow in the I2C communication protocol is very simple. We first send the start signal then we send the slave address plus read or write bit depending upon what operation we have to do and then we send the data section. The data section includes the address of the slave memory register and the data that has to be written on those memory registers of the slave device and then the stop signal. So now the for the DS3231 IC the slave address is 1101000 which is in the binary form and now let's understand that how exactly the data is being sent and read, write and read operations are performed from this IC via host controller on I2C communication bus. Now for the data section in the DS3231 IC, we first send the address of the memory register of the DS3231. So in the DS3231 we have 19 memory registers which are named according to its functions. So we have seconds register, minutes register, hours, day, date, month, century, year, alarm 1 register, alarm 2 and the control and status register and control register which ultimately configures and it sets up our RTC3231 module and the last two registers are the for getting the temperature data which is inbuilt in our RTC module, in our uh, uh, RTC3231. Now these address locations start from 00H to 12H and each address is of one byte. So as we write the read, we perform read write operation on these address registers, memory registers, our location is automatically incremented by one. To understand this, uh, let's say, the, let's understand this by this thing. Uh, for li like I have written a function for initializing RTC3231. So we first specify the address of the control register and the address of the control register is 0E as you can see in the data sheet okay in the uh, figure one okay and then we write data on the control register by the according to the bits which we need to set to uh, to the configuration we need and then we can we send the data for the status register without specifying the location uh, address of the status and control register because the our location is automatically incremented so after 0E, we write data, it automatically increments to 0F and we write data on the state for the status register. Similarly, for the after status register, we can write, uh, our location will be incremented to 10H, 11H, 12H. So that's it now guys. In the next video, we are going to understand what registers of RTC3231 memory registers to be used and how to use and how to read and write date and time and the temperature from the module and in the same way implement its code by using the uh, embedded C code. So till then guys stay safe and kindly subscribe the channel, press the notification bell to get notified for new videos and for any queries, any doubts do mention them or your views in the comment section.